Mary Halliwell, otherwise known as Ginger Spice, has announced she's left the Spice Girls, ending days of speculation about her future. Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, girl. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. Because, listen, I'm about to spice up your life, honey, because the Spice Girls, I believe that I could say with all sincerity that the Spice Girls are returning because all five of them have reunited for Victoria's 50th birthday over the weekend, and it has caused such a freaking commotion worldwide. So in this video, I thought, let's go back in time. Let's do a very quick recap of the Spice Girls, of their height, of their breakup, and of their comeback. Listen, the Spice Girls, I like to believe that for me are my favorite girl groups ever. I am obsessed with everything from the past. I love everything 90s, 2000s. It is my everything. I don't connect very well with a lot of music from now. I don't know why. And I just really, really love, like, I love digging into, like, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. I love looking back at, like, Madonna documentaries, Spice Girl documentaries. Like, I love, you know, to know the history of, like, Janet Jackson and Aretha Franklin and Whitney Hughes. Like, I love doing, I love going back in time. And I thought, why not do a Spice Girl one? So, listen, best friend, get ready because we're about to go. And I'm going to give you guys the quickest Spice Girl refresher ever. Because, <clears throat> ja no, wait, hang on. How was it? Scary baby ginger posh. Sporty, yes, now the Spice Girls are back with the Spice Girls ready to go. Ladies and gents, can you please take your seats and we hope that you enjoy the show. Let's go back to 1996 when the world first learned about the Spice Girls in 1996, you guys. Listen, are you curious how they got their names? I mean, it got given to us by a teeny bopper, teeny bopper magazine that couldn't probably be bothered to remember all of our names. So he just put that out there and it just stuck. And it wasn't a thing that we necessarily chose, but it was like, well, I don't mind my name. I don't mind mine. Well, let's just roll with it then. And I, it just, it's one of those things that just made sense. So why even try and correct it? And just like that, the Spice Girls were born. Anyways, Wannabe is the world's biggest selling debut single of all time, as well as the best selling girl group single of all time. It sold 1,385,000 copies in the UK and almost 3 million in the US and more than 7 million copies worldwide by the end of 1997. So the Spice Girls debut single Wannabe was actually released by Virgin Records in the UK in July 96. It went to number one in 37 countries worldwide and became the biggest selling debut single of all time. In the UK, it stayed at the top of the UK single charts for seven weeks and went on to sell over 6 million copies worldwide. It topped the Billboard Hot 100 in the US for four weeks in February 97. They had singles like Say You'll Be There to Become One. They had three consecutive Christmas number ones. Both songs also reached the top five in the US and across most of Europe. The group's debut single, uh, the album Spice, was released in the UK in November 96. And it sold 2 million in the first week and a total of 10 million copies worldwide the next seven months. Since its release, the Spice album has sold 23 million copies worldwide and was certified 10 times platinum. Um, I mean, absolutely crazy. The fourth Spice Girl singer uh, single was Mama and Who Do You Think You Are and went to number one as well in the UK for four weeks, best friend. This is just the first album okay this is just the first album the spice album it is absolutely insane so after they took the world by storm with their first album of course they took their first album on tour best friend and they basically did a worldwide sold out tour the spice girls was literally and still is one of the most successful girl groups ever 
they have literally been watched and seen in concert by millions, millions, okay? And the Spice Girls, this was just the beginning of the Spice Girls. Then they went to meet the damn royals. Prince Charles arranged for the Spice Girls to meet Harry. And for a 12-year-old, this was beyond exciting. And they were very nice to him. They cuddled him. They had lots of pictures. The Spice Girls went on to say this was one of the most biggest highlights of their career to be able to be with the Royals. Obviously, being from the UK, this was an incredible honor for them to be able to, you know, join the freaking future king, you know. And they were literally there with their outfits doing the girl power, you know, symbol. Um, they had endless success they were invited to turn the christmas lights on in london this was an incredible honor as well so their home country was definitely welcoming them with open arms they were everywhere best friend there was lollipops merchandise you know you name it the spice girls were on it the spice girl fans were insane best friend then shortly after came the very anticipated second album, Spice World, with their first single, of course, Spice Up Your Life. Ah, stomach to the left if you're having a good time. Girl, that song. But listen, so best friend, then shortly after November 97, the group released their second album, Spice World, which was certified eight times platinum. The album was number one and had number one singles like Spice Up Your Life. And it had the second UK Christmas number one with Too Much. The album's third single was Stop, was released in March 98. And best friend, then came... The masterpiece, the Oscar-worthy event of the century, Spice World, the movie. When the world is in trouble, when our future is in danger, we call upon one man. But when he's busy, he calls five girls. Columbia Pictures presents... The Spice Girls. All right, we're coming. So, best friend, as you can imagine, Spice World was a number one box office success in the UK, grossing 2.3 million pounds during its opening weekend on Boxing Day 97. It was the highest opening gross for a British production in the UK, surpassing the record set earlier in the year by Bean, and also set a record opening week for a British film in the UK with a gross of 4.8 million. Um, best friend, the film was also successful in the U.S., breaking the record at the time for the highest ever weekend debut for Super Bowl weekend. So it was released this, uh, January 25th, 98, with the box office sales of $10 million. The film took in $56 million at the box office worldwide. Uh, with DVD sales, it has grossed over $100 million, best friend. After all that glory, everything started to go to shit. Damn it. <laughs> Thanks for coming along. It's really nice to see you all, but um, are we not missing somebody? We, we are. are. Unfortunately, Jerry's not very well tonight, so get well soon, Jerry. Well. Jerry Halliwell, otherwise known as Ginger Spice, has announced she's left the Spice Girls. I think it's stronger vocally with just the four of us. I think also we're happier. Now, after the foursome did go on tour to finish their tour, but it was never the same. As a four-piece, the Spice Girls released their third album, Forever, in November 2000. And it actually peaked at number two in the UK charts and was certified platinum. Um, Forever produced the last Spice Girls UK number one single. Right after Best Friend, where they just released two singles, they decided to call an indefinite hiatus. Until, until 2007. <laughs> Please welcome, in person for the first time together in nine years, since Ginger did a bunk in Oslo, posh, ginger, sporty, baby, scary, the one and only Spice Girl. Yeah, 
After the Spice Girls got together again, they went on a sold out world tour. And I mean, I tell you, it was sold out. I literally, literally remember, I don't even know how I was trying to get tickets. And it was like in less than a minute, it sold out, best friend. Like this was seven years after, you know, their last album. Everyone was so excited. And they released the song Headlines Friendship Never Ends and they went on tour, all five of them, which was so amazing. And best friend, it was a total success, okay? The tour sold 581,000 tickets for a box office gross of $70 million and then earned an additional $100 million from merch, okay? Overall, the tour was the eighth highest grossing concert tour of 2008. They had a 17-night sellout stand at London's O2 Arena was the highest grossing engagement of the year, taking in $33.8 million and drawing an audience of $256,000, winning the 2008 Billboard Touring Award for Top Box Score. Literally earned the Top Box Score Best Friend from Billboard. That's insane. Flash forward to 2012, the Spice Girls reunited once again to perform at the Olympics. And this was the first time since 2007's tour that they got together. And of course, you know, to go represent their country, they literally performed in the Olympics and they were incredibly, it's one of the most iconic performances, I think, ever, okay, ever. And I just love how Victoria's just modeling. It's iconic. Then, flash forward years later, the Spice Girls reunited again. Now, if we're going on tour. La, 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 Come on, girls. La, 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 2019, the four Spice Girls, Scary, Ginger, Baby, and Sporty, reunited for Spice World, the 2019 tour. It included performances in the UK and Ireland. Spice World commenced on 20, uh, May 24th, 2019 in Dublin, Ireland and ended on 15th of June in 2019 at Wembley Stadium in London, England. Across the 13 sold out dates, the tour produced almost 700,000 spectators and earned $78 million, $78 million in ticket sales, best friend. And that was without Posh. Okay, now flash forward to a couple days ago. The Spice Girls have now just taken the world by storm once again with all of them reuniting for Victoria Beckham's 50th birthday. Um, this was the first time in a very long time where they are publicly seen together. Now, Melanie B, a.k.a. Scary, has, you know, she has teased us of, you know, uh, alleged, you know, reunions and all of these things. But this is getting a lot of people excited because it's the first time that they are actually like seen publicly together, all five of them. So with all of the rumors that Melanie B is saying that might be true, could the Spice Girls actually be returning? They were seen together with this picture that literally just like broke the internet best friend first picture in forever that they are seen together so i think best friend that it's safe to say that the spice girls are returning and you know who i'm taking i'm taking my mama okay that's who i'm taking best friend who are you taking let me know in the comments below obviously all the headlines are about the spice girls it's the spice world after all so best friend listen as you can tell i'm very very excited about a you know a potential comeback i know that melanie b aka scary spice has teased for a very long time about a supposed reunion that or, or something that's going to come out very soon Victoria Beckham has definitely talked about how she, you know, is not interested in a Spice Girl reunion, but I just feel like the, the world needs some Spice Girls right now. And as much as I love each and every one of them, and even as a foursome, the, the five of them together, I think, will just be so magical, so incredibly amazing. Um, I always get asked, who are your favorite singers? I have various favorite singers. My favorite singers is, you know, Britney Spears, Spice Girls, Madonna, 
Um, those are like my three top favorite, you know, singers ever. I love them so much. And of course, you know, those are like the, the nineties, you know, ones. And of course, Selena Gomez, she's, I feel like Selena Gomez and I have like this very special spiritual relationship. We don't know each other, but in my head, I, I feel like we are very connected. Um, and those are my favorite singers from the nineties. And then, you know, from the, the 2000s is, you know, Selena. Um, listen, I am very excited. I hope the Spice Girls do a world tour. Last time they, of course, went on tour was just in the UK. But, you know, I will tell you something, best friend. And I'm going to be very honest. Like, I will do what it takes, bitch. If you want me to send you pictures of my feet, bitch, I will, girl. Listen, I, 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 will, I will literally do... You, you want ASMR, bitch? Listen... There's a lot of ways to get money on online, bitch. And if I have to grow, listen, if I have to go to Buckingham Palace, okay, bitch, and I, ha and I have to go there and perform a fucking, um, I don't know, bitch, Trisha Paytas uh, uh, songs, I will do whatever I need to do, girl, okay? Because I'm going, I'm going to the Spice Girl concert, all right? Um, no, but for are you excited about a potential Spice Girl reunion? And what do you guys think of all the history? You know, it was... I wanted to give you guys a brief video. And I'm not all about like, you know, very long time. Listen, I don't like long videos because I feel like our attention span is not like all that there. But if you did want a more like detailed video, let me know because I'd love to give you one. But um, the Spice Girls will forever be one of my favorite groups in the world. I will always and forever cherish every single memory I have with this with the music. Um, I love the Spice Girls. Just the other day, we went out for my birthday and my husband tells me, I do not remember this, but my husband tells me that as we were walking to the Uber, um, there was this like club that was listening. I mean, they were playing the Spice Girls and he said that like, I just kind of started running and um, the Uber was like a street over and I ran into like this alley and I just started dancing. And then my husband like comes running to get me because he's like, where did he go? And I was over there dancing in an alley by myself. And then I started crying. And my husband was like, why are you crying? I was like, because I love the Spice Girls so much and I really hope they get back together. And he, and I asked, he said, I asked him, I was like, do you think they're gonna get back together? And he goes, yes, they're gonna get back together. Don't worry. And then he hugged me and he said, okay, let's get burgers. Girl, I don't remember that shit. He could be making it up. But you know what, bitch? It fits. It fits the personality. But anyways, girl, I hope you enjoyed this. If you want any more brief deep dives on your favorites or going back in time, who, who you know, who we want to talk about, spill some tea about, let me know in the comments because I love to do that for you guys. I love you all so much. I'm so grateful and thankful for you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.